here's the thing, when I watch videos like this, sometimes there's going to be drama. People don't like it. That. People don't like it when this happens. Because this video is going to show you one thing. That Xiaolin is DEAD! Alright? So, I want you guys to accept the fact. I want you guys to accept the fact, alright? Just accept the fact. Then we can move on easier. Okay, so let's have a look. This lady apparently killed Xiaolin. Alright, she killed Xiaolin. Xiaolin, replace. Replace entirely. Alright, a lot of people have been saying this. People say, yo, guitar regal. Okay, let's watch it. So this is by Bullet. Okay, this is Agnes. She's a four cost comparison with Castrel Xiaolin. Wow. Cool editing. Top and bottom view. Okay. So top is Agnes. Bottom is Castro Xiaolin. By the way, we're comparing it with Castro Xiaolin. Castro the rearm Xiaolin. The rearm Xiaolin. Whoa! Whoa! She's doing more damage than Xiaolin? Way more damage than Xiaolin. No way. She just replaced Castro Xiaolin. How? She, she's 106 as well? Castro Xiaolin is 110? No way. No. Wow, this underboob nun is strong, right? Wait, let me look at the freaking skills, alright? Okay, this is what Agni has. Basic attack. Okay, 5%. Passive skill. Marks the target with emulate after dealing damage 4 times with the basic attack. So it marks the target. And then... This Immolate thing will have their defense permanently reduced by 10%. Ah. In Gauntlet, Immolate reduces the max HP of the target by 15% instead. Ships aren't affected by the debuff. So in PvE, this defense is reduced by 10%. It's kind of cool. Changes Immolate values in PvE, defense reduction increases to 20%. 20% defense reduction. And in Gauntlet, reduces max HP by 25% instead. So after using basic attack 7 times... Oh wait, is she a soldier? Wait, is she a freaking soldier? Oh no, she's just a fury type. She's a furry type. Sniper and counter, but she's a furry type, okay. I mean, I, I'm telling you guys right now, right? Furry is the future. Furry is the future in counter side. So you guys prepare as many attack speed as you can. Furry is actually the future. <coughs> so you can see, this one. After using basic attack 7 times, permanently increase self attack speed by 50%. Can't be stacked, okay? While attacking a target with Immolate, deals 20% more damage, the attack will always crit. Wow. Crit damage plus 100%, basic attacks against targets with Immolate decreases their HP by 3% over 1 second. Okay, this will always crit similar with how Xiaolin works. No wonder she does more than Xiaolin. So ultimate skill turns into a miss, deals massive damage to the enemies in front. Permanently increase self attack speed by 20% after casting the skill. W what? This sounds broken! Permanently increase attack speed by 20% permanently. And you can stack by 2 times, so 40% increase attack speed? That is crazy, man. That is crazy. No wonder no wonder Caster Celine is sort of dead in KR, right? Wow. I can't wait for this to come to all of us as well. But yeah, this is crazy stuff. Let's have a look at the gears if you show. So this is a DPS, right? Damage per second. Uh, 12,000 versus 9,000. So you can see both are using attack speed right here. Which is fair. I, I feel like Xiaolin has the better gears. Xiaolin has the exclusive equipment, which for sure this is better. And this is plus 10 T7. Versus a T6. Okay, the weapon is the same. Yeah, I, I feel like... So her attack is less. Look at her attack. <clears throat> she has less attack. She has 6,800. Castro Xiao, Xiaolin has 9,000. Wait, can you guys see it? Castro Xiaolin is 9,700. Uh, Agnes has 6,800. So crit doesn't matter because they are both. They were both always crit anyways, right? Surprisingly, Castro Xiaolin has more attack, but still. Wow. Castro's only advantage is the stun. I think in PvP, Castro is still better. But in PvE, 
completely uh completely replaced. I think in PvE, Agnes will be the new meta. The underboob nun. Yo, the underboob nun is a must-have, alright? Make sure you guys pull for the underboob nun. Save for her. Okay, more. What is this? Do they change gear? Maybe they change to crit damage? Okay. Pretty cool. So yeah, I can see you can see Agnes has slightly longer range, I think, it looks like. Sialin is more front, positioning wise. Do you guys think I'm not blind, right? Agnes has more. Okay, what is this? 4.5 million. Oh, now it's around the same. What is this? 4.5 million. 4.5 million. Okay. 25,000. 25,000. But yeah, let me forward to you guys. Um, this is Bullet's video. Let me check out one more. He did uh, this one as well. So I'm curious for bosses, right? So he fought this one. This one is a... This is a inhibitor. Inhibitor. So you can see right here. So he has Agnes right here. There's no Xiaolin. So he just took out Xiaolin. He just put uh, Agnes. So let's have a look. So crit damage gears. Wow, very good gears. T7 everything. Wow. Crazy whale gears right there. Alright, let's have a look. I'm curious how much damage will uh, Agnes be able to pull off. I think she might out damage uh, Awaken Seoyun ETC ETC. But we'll see. Or maybe on par. 4 million total damage, 2k DPS. The first one is no gear, I think. Ah, wait, he showed gears though. Or is that gear afterwards, is it? He put the gear. So the first one is no gear, when he put gear, it's more equal. But that's because Xiaolin has the exclusive equipment. Fair enough, yeah. Fair enough. 250 raid boss. Agnes is not out yet. I hate that sequence when that happens. Awaken Shinja will prevent anyone from dying during that. Okay, let's see how, how far is her range. Okay, she's all the way at the back here. Ooh. She's all the way at the back there. That can be a bit scary because she won't be within range of some healers. Like, I know, like, uh... Maybe Evelyn can still heal her from there. But, like, some healers will not be able to heal her from there. Okay, you can sort of see that she's attacking way faster way faster afterwards. Yeah, she's going to make, make it so much easier for our players to be able to solo bosses, right? Okay, so this one is uh 1.1 million, 2.6 million from Kim Sobin, but I think DPS-wise will be about equal. Okay, so DPS-wise, uh, Agnes is a top, followed by... I mean second, Kim Sobin is still a top, followed by Agnes. But that's to be expected because inhibitor Kim Sobin does bonus to mech, right? Which is not bad. So now he swaps Xiaolin, and we're gonna have a look if Xiaolin can do more. This is Xiaolin's comparison. Xiaolin does more. Wait, so Xiaolin does more? Is it because the duration is shorter? Xiaolin is 35,000 uh, DPS over the course of 45 seconds. 26,000, 42 seconds. Yeah, I think Xiaolin still does more if the... Uh, what do you call that? If the duration is shorter. I think over the course of long period, Maybe Agnes will do more and catch up because of her defense reduction ETC ETC or because he's doing a rush con is it? One arm pit man. Her art can even hit the ship. True. Same like Mia. She will still die to Kang most likely. So that won't that won't surprise anyone. Probably that won't surprise anyone at all. Oh, Amy hit the other way. That's crazy, man. <laughs> Agnes is still alive from that? Okay. Now she's dead. Enemy used Jaina insane. Jaina is actually one of the top dealers uh, in terms of damage as well. For all the snipers right now. In PvE. I would love to test more of her. But I think she's one of the top damage dealers. For PvE. 
Okay, not bad of a... I think she's not bad. She won't be able to replace Casper in PvP, but I think it's not bad. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of Agnes? I think, yeah, uh, at least Casper Seldin has a competition now. 